Hi everybody, this is James Wiebe with Radiant Instruments. I want to give you a demonstration today of my new CoPro carbon monoxide sensor loaded with features. And we'll be doing a comparison alongside our classic uh, Thin Air Geiger Co. Uh, and you can see both of them respond at the same time to smoke and carbon monoxide. Let's do it. I have four matches and a box. And we're going to place the four matches inside the smoke chamber. Okay, I've managed to place the four matches without starting the foam on fire. Now, and close the box, and let's see what happens. The first to respond is always the Geiger Co. It's solid state sensor, lasts a long time, and is ultra quick. But meanwhile, the CoPro is showing us a graph of what's happening, and it's also providing us with an oral alarm and a trend arrow. That's the yellow arrow that you see flashing on and off. The carbon monoxide level is rising rapidly. Let's just watch it. The arrow has turned to red. This indicates that uh, we've passed through 50 parts per million and that we are rising towards a red or 100 ppm level. You can see that the numbers have also turned to, to yellow, indicating that we're between 50 and 100 parts per million. Let's watch what happens as it passes through 100. The hazard icon at the top is turned on. The red arrow is still flashing, indicating that the rate is rising rapidly. And the uh, CO value down at the bottom continues to rise in step with the graphing capability. You also notice that the CO max value is rising in step. This always shows us the highest level of carbon monoxide that has been seen since the unit has been powered up. Okay, let's go ahead and pull the cover off and see what happens next. I'm going to wave some clear air, and that speaker's annoying, so I'm going to suppress it. We suppressed the speaker on the CoPro. We can turn it on and off at will just by touching the speaker button. When it goes below 50 parts per million, it'll automatically turn off on its own. The speaker sound is coming from the front facing speaker port, which is right there. Now, if we attempt to go into G mode, which I'll explain in a little bit by holding the next button down. Oops. What I did there is I pressed it for more than three seconds. That dimmed the screen. Okay, we'll go with that. Let's undim the screen and briefly touch the button. It tried to go into G mode, but sensing that the CO level was still high, it forced us back into the carbon monoxide graphing mode. And if you happen to be using the G meter and you do have a carbon monoxide rising, uh, it would do the same thing, automatically switch into this alert carbon monoxide mode. We've gone below 50. Uh, we see that the digital value is now uh, 44 and descending. We see that our maximum CO was 153, uh, and uh, we are continuing to get a graph of our activities as well. Um, let's uh, wait just a moment here. I'm gonna... Clear out some more air and clear out my matches. And now we're going to switch over to the G meter, just so that I can show you that as well. 
I do that by briefly touching the next button. This time, uh, it stays in the G meter mode. And you can see how we have a history of the G meter through the ghosting effect on the needle. And I'm rotating there, we're upside down, now we're upside up. You can see that we have the current Gs at the top, the max that we've experienced, just a little over one unit of gravity, and the minimum, uh, about minus one unit of gravity. There's a dividing line. We still see our continuous max and our current seal level down at the bottom. When the sensor is subject to a lot of carbon monoxide, it takes a little while for it to settle back down to zero or one. That's your introduction to the new Radiant Instruments carbon monoxide detector with the name of CoPro. It's now orderable on our website or at our distributors. Thanks. Have a great day.